Hey everyone, hope you had a good day. This is Weston Summers and this will be a brief video on how to smoke a bullet so you can find your land engagement or your cartridge overall length for your precision rifle. There will be a couple things we need for this video. We'll need once fired brass, we'll need the projectile that you're going to shoot, we'll need a candle, some calipers, and we'll need the uh, sheet of paper to write down our measurements. With that, I'm going to set you down and let's see if we can do a few of these and show you how it works. Okay, today we're going to be using my 30 alt 6 rifle. Here's the brass I specified. You need to look through your brass. You'll need to make sure you have a um, projectile of your choice that you're going to shoot. The reason I said look through your brass is because you'll need once fired because some of the projectiles will fall right into it. But if you look through a couple of them, you'll find several pieces where the projectile sits just right in the neck and stays there, which is what we're look, looking for. Here's the sheet of paper we'll need. I hope you've got a good view of a candle. A candle or a cigarette lighter will do just fine. And your calipers. Now, the way this works is we're trying to look for land engagement on our rifle, so we're going to cycle our action with a bullet in here. Please make sure your gun's unloaded. And this will push this projectile in to the exact length of the land engagement for this rifle or for your individual rifle. Now, to find the cartridge overall length for your rifle, you simply set her in, in there, put her in your rifle, cycle your action one time, try and push on her so she doesn't hit everything, like mine, and if she sticks like that, make sure you can bump out your round. Just give her one or two good bumps and she'll come right out because you don't have any pressure on it. So, once again, let's try that. Have a piece of brass that your projectile sits right into. Set her in your gun. Work your action one time. And out she comes. Now, this would have pushed in on the right rifle round to the exact distance. You want to measure it with your calipers, and you want to write it down. Now, you do this about ten times, throw out your highs and your lows, because sometimes it will over push it and it will fall into the shelves, and you'll have a good description. To make sure you're engaging the lands, though, we want to set our round just like this, and we're going to do what's called smoking a bullet. We're going to take our candle, we're going to come up to the very top here, and we're going to run our bullet back and forth right here on the thickest part until we put a heavy layer of soot. I'm messing it up with my breath. Heavy layer of soot on the rifle round. Now you can smoke the entire thing. It doesn't matter, but you just want it good and black because it will scratch off with just a touch of the fingertips. So, now that you've got your bullet smoked up, this is what we're looking for. This is what we started with, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the three engagement, or however many rifling uh, grooves your rifle has, and we're looking for the round bar, or the round scratch around it, where it, it is engaged, and we cycled our action. So very carefully, take your gun, try not to touch anything with it. Go all the way into your rifle. Cycle your bolt one time. Even more, try and not let it hit on anything. And there she came out. If you've got enough light on it, you can see there's a round scratch. This is the ogive of the bullet where it is engaged the lands, and there'll be the equivalent number of scratches straight up and down where you have where it's touched just the lands before it was engaged. To do it again, you can simply take a rag and the soot wipes right off. Make sure you don't force her down in there. And simply smoke her up again here. A heavy layer of soot's most important. It seems a candle works a little better than a cigarette lighter because it gives off a little paraffin vapor. There she is again. Doesn't matter if she's a little crooked. Don't touch her because she'll be hot. Feed her into our rifle. Work our action. And I dropped that one. Great. There it is. We still have the round ogive engagement, and we still have our three scratches like that right there where the lands have touched it. So you can measure from there, and now you know that your lands have engaged. So you take your calipers and you would measure this as well, which it looks like is very close to the first one. Hope that helps everybody. I did this video already with the 223, but it was pretty hard to see. And this seems like it's a little bigger. Maybe it'll show up better on camera when I go over it. Thank you. Please don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And I look forward to hearing all your comments and questions.
Thank you.